The MC-21 aircraft is on the verge of attaining full domestic system integration, a critical milestone in the pursuit of operational independence, which is a significant development for Russia's aviation industry. The information was disclosed in a recent interview with Roman Taskav, the director of flight testing at PJSC Yakovlev, a subsidiary of UAC under the Rostec State Corporation. Taskav is a test pilot. Taskav stated, We are currently awaiting the completion of import substitution on the MC-21 aircraft at the Irkutsk Aviation Plant to begin certification tests in a fully import substituted configuration. He also mentioned that individual systems are already carrying out certification processes. Taskev's perspectives are particularly significant in the industry due to his status as one of the first pilots to fly the MC-21, which included variants with composite wings and Russian PD-14 engines. The program's progress extends beyond technical developments, with a comprehensive training infrastructure already in place. Taskev, who is responsible for the certification of flight personnel and the supervision of training, confirmed that a comprehensive training program has been implemented for airline pilots who are interested in purchasing the aircraft. This confirms the project's suitability for commercial deployment. The Irkutsk Aviation Plant, which is essential for the production of the MC-21, is currently undergoing substantial modernization to facilitate serial production. Andrei Boginsky, General Director of PJSC Yakovlev, recently discussed the company's objectives to increase its production capacity to 36 aircraft annually, or three aircraft per month, during a visit by First Deputy Prime Minister Denis Mantorov. The modernization initiative encompasses the procurement of more than 400 pieces of equipment, with a significant number of these already operational or under contract. The plant has undergone significant infrastructure enhancements, which include the construction of a hangar for ground testing and customization, an engineering services building, and a dedicated military equipment assembly workshop, a galvanic coating workshop, a mechanical assembly workshop, and a ground airfield equipment hangar are all in various phases of construction. The near completion of a longitudinal milling machine installment in Workshop 246, which is intended for the processing of keel attachment units, represents a significant improvement in production capability. This addition simplifies the production process by enabling the local completion of components that were previously required to be transported to other facilities. This reduction in costs and production time is a critical factor as serial production approaches. The program has also sparked wider discussions about the future of aviation, with Taskev providing valuable insights into the potential of optionally piloted aircraft and passenger drones. He emphasized the ongoing significance of human pilots, particularly in emergency situations where the capacity for self-sacrifice and subjective decision-making are uniquely human characteristics, despite acknowledging technological progress. The MC-21 program is a cornerstone of Russia's strategic initiative to establish a fully independent commercial aviation capability, and these developments collectively constitute a significant step forward. The program is making steady progress toward its objective of introducing a commercial aircraft that is entirely Russian-made to the market, as evidenced by the advancements in both technical development and production infrastructure. Now, do you think the test pilot should have mentioned the time period when the fully domestic aircraft is expected to fly? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership of our channel to encourage us.